Choose a variable to represent the quantity you're looking for. Choose your favorite letter. You see, I use x. Uh, trans translate the word into equation. So after you read it, you try to translate the problem into equation, um, and then solve. Right. And make sure you check your answer if the answer makes sense. If if I ask you to find the mile that you run every day, if it come out negative, that does not make sense. Right? You cannot run negative miles. Something wrong. All right, so let's do this one. Matt and his classmate form a study group. The number of biology major in the group was three more than twice the number of chemistry major. Um, anybody here do bi biology major? Yeah. Chemistry major, I almost yeah. Chemistry, uh, biology. biology. Okay, um, that's my minor. Biology is my minor. Um, when I was undergrad, I almost go for about chemistry though. I I always like chemistry. Uh, I was good at it, but math came in the way. Um, all right. So um, the number of biology major in the group was three more than twice the number of chemistry major. There were 11 bio major in the group. How many chemistry major were there? Okay, so apparently the one that we're looking for is the number of students that have chemistry majors, right? So, so that's my variable, right? That's the unknown. So I'm gonna let X. So if you if you if you wonder which which one should I let X be, should be bio major or chemistry? Look at the question, right? Whatever they ask you, that will be your variable. So let X be the number of chems major. Such a cool major. Chemistry is very cool. A lot of job market too. <clears throat> All right, so that's one done. Step one is done, or at least two steps done. Um, now I need a, a translate word into equation. What do I have? I know that the number of biochem was three more than twice the number of chemistry major. Can someone give me that sentence? Uh, this sentence right here. Oops. That sentence right there in blue. How do I translate in terms of X? Correct. Yeah, two x plus three. You're correct. Yeah, two x plus three, right? So, two x plus three. And it say the next one. It say what? The next one. Uh, maybe I'll highlight in yellow, so you can see. Make sure you can see that right there. There were eleven bio major in the group. So what does that mean? You go 11, right? Because to actually that's your bio, bio um, student number of students in bio major. So equal 11. I shouldn't do yellow. Can you see? Can you guys see fine? Okay, all right. And then you solve for x. You guys know how to solve for x. Okay, subtract three both sides. So I have two X equal nine, no, equal eight, divide both side by two. That's you, X equal four. So four students, Your don't forget the units, okay? That's one point, don't forget the units. Four students in chemistry majors, not many. Because it's harder, apparently. <clears throat> Why don't you try number two? Just, just to try number two. At least be able to define the variable. Let X be something. I'll give you a point even you don't know anything else on the exam.
you want to get the answer? Chicken. Anyone get the answer? Some someone hmm? Oh, uh, four? Oh, you can have four students in them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no, they're asking for number of students. Oh, number two. Oh, you do number three or you number two? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, four, I think sounds right. But um <clears throat> All right, number two, um, let's see, three sevenths of the student in Math 661 are business major. There are 120 business major enrolled in Math 661. What is the total number of students in Math 661? So at least the first thing you do is let X be the total number of students in Math. Six six one one point, even though you don't do anything else. Right. Um, and then let's uh, translate some equation here. What does this mean? <clears throat> three seven, right? So three seven up three seven three seven up mean multiplication, right? Up mean multiply. Um, student of student in mass six one, and we know that we denote x so times x. There are 120 um, business major students. So equal 120, then you solve. So, so multiply both side by, yeah, 730 reciprocal, right? 730. Mm -hmm. that, that cancel, I have X equal, 120 divided by three is 40, four times seven is 280. <clears throat> divide what? No, no, you multiply seven and then you divide by three. What what do you do? What do you do? I um divided by three seven and I gave it to the base. Oh 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 one point divided by it. Oh, okay, it's the same thing. When you multiply, you flip. Yeah. You flip. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yes, I thought you divide by seven. No, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, three seven. Yeah, when you multiply, you flip multiply. It's the same thing. All right. Um. <coughs> number three. And I'll give you the you try. Sam studied for her physics final three hours more than twice the time she studied for math final. This is hard. If Sam spent 11 hours studying for her physics final, how long did she study for her math final? So the first thing first, I'm going to let X be um, the hours, the hours, Sam. Then study math um, or math final. So this is what I'm looking for. How how long she spent on studying math final? All right. Someone translate that one for me. Translate it. Three more than uh, three more than twice mean what? Yeah, three plus right more than mean add. So three plus two x. Remember, um, three. So three more than mean plus twice mean uh, multiply something by two. Uh, the time to study for math, which is really know by x, so two times x equal. 11, right, 11, 11. Then you solve for x. 
um, subtract both sides by three, two x you go, use. It's the same thing. It's, I don't know why they give the same equation. Two x plus three. Uh, two x equal eight. X equal four. Hours. You try. Philip pays $1,620 uh, in rent every month. The amount is $220. More than twice what his brother Paul pays for rent. How much does Paul pay for rent? That's a lot of rent for every month.
right. Um, so objective two is more kind of it's not computational the application per se, but it's still the sort of translation type of problem. The sum of two numbers, expect something like this on the exam. Objective two. Uh, the sum of two numbers is zero. One number is nine less than twice the other number. Find the numbers. So I have two numbers. I want to find them. And mind you, these numbers more um, are assumed to be integer. Okay. So if you just see something like fraction, it's probably wrong. So they should have said like the numbers you're looking for is integer. I'm gonna say integer. The sum of two number is zero. So um, hmm, one number is less than twice the other number. So maybe maybe I'll start with this one first. One number is less than twice the other. So I'm gonna let X be one of the number. I don't know which one, but one of the numbers, right? Um, let's translate that one. One number is nine less than twice the other. So what does that mean? <clears throat> All right, if one, if X is one of the number, then what do I call the next one? According to that blue line, what do I call the next one? Nine less than twice the other numbers. So the other one, it could be nine less than twice the other. Yeah, two x minus nine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um. Then the let me see that. I'm sorry. I didn't mind. I didn't mean to ruin your note. Then the remaining number. Let's say remaining. is 2x minus 9. If if, if, if it's not 9 less than 2 twice, the other means you take 2x minus 9. If on the problem you say 9 less twice the number, then 9 minus 2x. So be careful. It's kind of like subtract it and subtract it from. Um, the sum of the two number is 0. What does that mean? Let me what? Yeah, you left. That means what? Hmm? Uh, the sum of the sum of the two numbers. So something plus something. Yeah. So something plus something. So the first number plus the second number, right? So the x plus two x minus nine, right? Mm -hmm. equals zero. <laughs> and then you solve for x. x plus 2x is 3x minus 9 equals zero. Add 9 both sides, 3x equals 9. Divide both sides by 3, x equals 3. And then the other number will be um, 2 times 3 minus 9 is negative. Three. Makes sense, right? If you take three plus minus three, it's zero. Why don't you guys try five? Yeah, try five on your own.
Two numbers, right? Yeah. Two, three, five more than. Oh, All right, we'll see. I, I don't know the answer. We'll see. One number is five more than the others. The sum is increased by nine. The result is 60. Find the number. So let X be one of the number. Then, all right, then, then what? Then I need to find the other one, right? The other one is what? One number is five more than the others. How would I write the second numbers, a number? That should be simple, five more than, so be what? Huh? Yeah, I plus five, right? One number, so we'll just add the number that we need five is five more than so plus five. Mm. If the sum is increased by nine. In. The result is 60. If the sum is increased by 9, what does that mean? Oh, oh, first of all, what is sum? Sum mean what? The sum mean what? You add a two number together, right? So I'm going to take x. The two number, the first one is x. Second one is x plus 5. So that's sum. Increased by 9 means? Plus nine, very good, plus nine. The result is 60. Hmm? Yeah, equal 60. You can write, right? Equal 60. Five plus five X, why five plus? Where's the five come from? Five plus. Five plus five X? No, X plus five X. No, five more than in X plus five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, if it, if it, five times and you use times. Mm -hmm. So, um, so two X plus 14 equals 60. Subtract both side by 14. I'm not gonna do that step. You guys know how to do solving linear equation. Of uh, 60 minus 14 is 46. Thank you. Divide both side by 2, x equals 23. So the other one will be what? The blue one will be 23 plus 5, right? 6 and then I'll give you you try uh, a 55 inch piece of pipe it cuts into three pieces so I have a pipe I'll try I have a pipe um, let's draw the pipe That's my pipe. It's being cut in 
into three pieces randomly. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have evenly three pieces, just, just being cut. Um, I'm gonna do it like that, okay? Somebody can make the first piece longer than the second. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. As long as you randomly cut into three pieces. One piece is twice as long as the smallest piece. The third piece is seven inches longer than the smallest piece. All right, so everything it seems like it's focused on the smallest piece, right? It's, it's depends on the smallest piece. So I'm gonna call X be the smallest piece. According to my picture, the first piece will be X. So I'm gonna say let X be the smallest piece. All right, so what's the second P? Second P is what? One P is twice as long as the smallest P. So what does that mean? One P is twice as long. As the smallest P, so two X, right? Two X. And will be this P, it doesn't matter. If you wanna do the third P, that's fine. The third piece is seven inches longer than the smallest piece. Thank you. Plus seven, the third piece. Find the length of each piece. So if I know X, I know which piece length is. Now, um, I know that the, 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 the length of the whole pipe is what? 55, so all you do is just, just just add them all together and let it equal to 55, right? So x plus 2x plus x plus 7 equal 55. All right, um, 4x, right? x plus 2x plus x, that's 4x. Plus 7 equals 55. Subtract both sides by 7. 4x equals 48. Divide both sides by 4, x equals 12. use blue. Okay, so x equal 12. Don't forget the unit, which is inches. So what is my second P is two times x. Right. Two times 12 is 24. And then the third piece is x plus seven. x plus seven, x is 12 again. Which is 19 inches. <clears throat> you try to. Do you have any question? Draw the picture, it helps. The, the pipe of, uh, I'm sorry, the piece of rope is 120 feet long. If it cuts into three pieces, one piece is 25 feet longer than the shortest piece. The third piece is three times as long as the shortest piece. Find the length of the third piece. They already. They already defined the variable for you here, which is nice.
we a highlight in blue, should we? Oh, how come it say third piece here? Oh, no, no, the third piece is three times as long as the shortest piece. Oh, okay. yeah. But thank you, thank you for the book check. You walk down the street.
<laughs> you get done. Uh, all right. Uh, it looks like I gave you a good, a good discussion. Um, okay. Um, all right. So objective three. Last one, and then I'll let let I'll I'll, I'll tell you um, some hints about the exams. All right. Consecutive integer. What does consecutive mean? If I tell you two consecutive numbers, what what would what pops up in your mind? What does that mean? If I ask you, give me two consecutive numbers, just any two consecutive numbers, what would you give me? Yeah, yeah, consider it back to back, right? Integer back to back. Of course, between two and three, there's infinitely many rational number like 2.1, 2.111. But I'm talking about integer, so consecutive mean back to back. Thank you. It's a good term for it. Um, be represented by the sequence. So it looks like it looks like this. So negative infinity, negative ten, negative two, negative one, zero, one, etc. Right? Is difference by one unit. What is the next positive number in the sequence? Yeah, thank you. What, what, what did you add to five to obtain the number? Uh, yeah, one, right? No, I have five, there. one. What do you add to five to obtain the number of five and the number from part A? <laughs> what does that mean? What do you add to five to obtain the number following the number from part A? Part A is six. I want next to next consecutive five. Six, seven. So what do I add five to get seven? Two, right? So that's what it is. Part A is six. You want seven, so you add two. Consecutive odd integer can be represented by the sequence consecutive odd. So you only hear about odd integer, but it goes at even. Um, so if I start with negative three, then negative one, skip zero. By the way, zero is neither even nor odd. No odd. Um, let's skip zero anyway. One, and then three, and five, seven. What is the next positive number in the sequence? Yes. I don't like the, the way this question, I, I should say, what is the next consecutive positive, right? The next consecutive, I would say consecutive because can I, I could just say 10, right? I could just 10. So 11, 11, because I want consecutive. Um, what do you add to nine to obtain the number? Two, very good. What do you add to nine to obtain the number following the number from part A? Four. 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 Mm -hmm. Eleven. Um, yeah, it, hang on. What do you add to nine to obtain the number following the number from part A? Yeah, uh, nine plus four is 13. Yes. Four. So I, I want the next consecutive. After 11, 13. From nine, add four. <clears throat> All right, consecutive even. Um, the sequence would be like that, negative two. I don't know why they put zero. Zero. From what I know, zero is northern odd or even. I guess it's fine. Um, what is the next even positive number? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, I'm going to say it's even. Um, maybe I put odd here. Odd. So 14. What do you add to 12 to get 14? Two. What do you add to 12 to get the uh, number following from part A? 14, 16. But then I want, I, 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 go, I, I, got, I start at 12. So I want 16 at four, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so basically consecutive integer. If you want the next number, you just keep adding one. Um, and the next one, you add two to the original number, and add three, and add four to the original number, right? Um, for, the, for the 
for the consecutive odd or even. If you want a consecutive odd or even, you keep adding the multiple of two. Two, four, six, eight. Multiple of two. So remember that. All right, let's do some problem. The sum of the four consecutive integer is 94 by the integer. All right, so um, so I'm gonna let X be the first uh, first integer. What's the next consecutive? What is the next consecutive? Yeah, X plus one, right? And then the next one, X plus two, right here, right here, right here. X plus two, uh, X plus three. And I'm gonna stop it right here because they only want four. And then it says the sum, the sum of the, those consecutive integers are, is 94. So what does this mean? What? It means x plus x plus one plus x plus two. You don't have to do parentheses, but it's a good habit. F plus three equals 94. <clears throat> X plus X plus X plus X, that's four X. One plus two plus three, that's six. Subtract six both side. Four X equal 88. Divide both side by four. X equal 22. Then don't stop it right there. You need four of them, right? If X 22, then it's what? Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. That'll be your answer. I like that. It's fine. <clears throat> Consecutive odd. I want three consecutive odd. So again, you start with X. The first one, we call it X. What is my next consecutive odd? F plus two, two, two. Remember, remember what you, when we did the bunch of exercise up here, I know it's kind of redundant, but it's kind of helpful, right? You want to add, you want to find next odd, from nine would be at two to 11, so x plus x and x plus two. What is the next consecutive odd? After x plus two. Yes, x plus four, right? x plus four. Just remember if a consecutive odd or consecutive even, you, you, you add the multiple of two, multiple of two. And I, want, I only need three, so I'll stop it right there. The sum is 171. So that means x plus x plus two plus x plus four equal 171. x plus x plus x is three x. Two plus four is six equal 171. Subtract six both side. 165, right? Divide both side by three. 15 divided by three is five. 15 divided by is 55. Okay, 55, 57, 59. Why don't you try number 12? Let's try number 12.
Anyone have an answer for 12? Yeah, thank you. Okay, um, so again, three consecutive evens, same thing, x, x plus two, x plus four. Sum is 222, so x plus x plus two, plus x plus four equal two, two, two. 3x plus 6 equal 2, 2. Subtract 6. 218. Divide both sides by 3. Uh, something wrong. Did I subtract it wrong? 216 here. Thank you. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 72. 72. 74. 76. You try three. The sum of the three consecutive odd. Integer is 267. They want you to write the equation that model the problems. Don't, don't solve, just the equation. They want this one, sort of. Again, do not solve, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, exam. I cannot record this.